first of all, I think it's very important to understand that even if the US will withdraw from the international, the international commitments, it will not mean that action will stop on the ground in the US. So I think there are, we hear a lot of very, very positive voices from different parts of, of the US, uh, both the administration, yes. the private sector, many other stakeholders. So at, for, uh, as a kind of outset, I think it's important that we don't despair completely because uh, a lot will still be contributed from the US. That being said, there might be a gap. Uh, there might have been a gap all along. Uh, and we, I think the whole international community is aware of this gap and that we all really are committed to try to do our best to fill it. So the EU will do our very best to fulfill it. Uh, we have made what we believe to be quite important commitments and we are well ahead of this, uh, the curve to actually implement what we have promised. What is called the pre-2020 commitment, which means yeah, basically what we are doing now. We are also doing that uh, with a lot of, uh, of sincerity. Uh, so, so I think we, we are prepared to do our part. What we hear from all other stakeholders actually is that they are also prepared to do their part. And just to dwell a little bit of the India-EU relations, uh, we've just had an India-EU summit now uh, in October. And we did a very nice joint declaration where we reiterated that both the European Union and India uh, really stand very much behind the Paris uh, Agreement and the commitment to, to do our very, very best and even to do more. And uh, we are very hopeful that while it might look like a, a daunting task uh, right now and it might look difficult to see how can we fill this gap, so much is happening on innovation, on technology. We were speaking just now in the session about uh, solar energy that, uh, I mean, here in India, it has really come to a, a maturity where this, this technology is really, you know, really fully able to deliver. And there are technologies that are only now upcoming and that where we see, I mean, there is really a potential. So I am optimistic, uh, but of course we have to look at, uh, at the world also with realism. And, uh, but the important thing is that we, the other players, are really committed to do our best.